Welcome to the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Reading. Today, we pulled the butterfly, undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice or prayer done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, the butterfly's energy is cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, it is fragile and frustrated. To bring it into balance, a daily routine is recommended. Hmm. Butterflies, they're quite lovely, aren't they? Lovely to gaze upon. And truthfully, she is right. Kim Kranz is right. The butterfly signifies change. Well, it didn't start as a butterfly, you see. That was just the end result. So this transformation or metamorphosis that you're going through right now can feel overwhelming. Wait, I'm preaching to the choir today. <laughs> because I am right in that phase. You've got your wings, but you're just not quite ready to fly yet because it's not complete. And I know I've been feeling a sense of frustration in myself because I'm, I'm ready. I keep saying I'm ready. But every time you say you're ready, <laughs> that's when you know you're least ready. And so patience. We tend to beat ourselves up. When we think we're not learning something fast enough or, not, or we're not changing fast enough. But what, what are we comparing that change to? Are you looking at your neighbor and saying, they're way ahead of me? Are you looking at your coworkers? Oh, man, they got the promotion. That, I think, is what breeds the frustration within us, you know. We look at each other and compare ourselves to each other and we try and measure up to the other person. That to me is from a place of competition. You're not in competition with anyone. You are simply, I am simply going through my own change at my own pace. And this is why. You must be gentle with yourself. I'm not really a creature of routine. <laughs> Actually, I have one. I get up and I go to work. I go to my job. That's my routine. And I've started another one. But you see, I don't, I don't see reading as a routine. I see it as something that I just truly love doing. So perhaps an easier way to come at it, if you want to develop a routine, do something the same time every day, doing something that you enjoy, because then it is not a chore and your change or your transition or your metamorphosis will become much more manageable for you instead of us sitting there and waiting for the kettle to boil. You ever notice that? My son does it all the time. Mom, I'm hungry. When is it going to be done? When is it going to be done? I'm like, hey, give it a minute. <laughs> you can't rush it because I've got to prep it. Supper's not ready yet. The longer you look at something and wait and wait and you're, you're agitated, seems to take longer watched pot never boils that's why i suggest doing something that you thoroughly enjoy 
because then the time flies like that. And you're like, oh, the metamorphosis is done. I've got these wings. I can fly. Yes. Exactly. So be grateful that the metamorphosis is happening. Because like I, I continually say, we are inside of our bodies and we know then the time is right to do certain things. And you notice how change is gradual. So as not to overwhelm or create an injury like labor. It's not just one continuous contraction, although it could feel that way, but you get a break in between. The shorter the break, you know the closer the baby is. You see? But the change in the transition or the metamorphosis has to be gradual. But we seem to think, oh, it's taking too long. No, just be patient. Remember, I said waiting is not a passive activity. You're doing something as you are waiting. While you're going through this transitionary phase, you're not just being idle. You ever watch the cocoon? It moves. Because the life inside of it is getting ready to emerge. It's not just being idle. So what are you learning in this waiting? You're learning trust, confidence, because you're being taken into a new level now that you've got to learn and experience. So in order to traverse the new level, there are certain characteristics that you have to have that are being developed while you are in that cocoon. So you see how again, Kim Kranz says, you need the support. You need the support of friends or a close friend and activities. That support will bring a sense of comfort so that you don't get afraid of Oh, what's going to happen to me after this transition? Am I going to change? Like, you know, when you have that reassurance and that support, fear goes away. That, that support is important though. Have you ever watched, um, climbing pole beans? They have these tendrils that reach out and they will latch on to something because the support is really important because it's growing straight up. Without that support, it'll be tossed to and fro and the growth can't happen effectively. So it will anchor itself to something. It's amazing how it happens because it doesn't have eyes. But it feels, it feels the vibration of the thing that it's latching on to. That's what we do when we're going through that metamorphosis. You reach out to find a sense of stability to which to anchor yourself. That's why you, you know to turn to a particular person or a particular activity because it is solid and it will keep you grounded so that you're not tossed to and fro with worry or fear. So be encouraged today. My beautiful butterflies, I'm talking to myself too. Be encouraged to allow the transition to happen because the transition is going to happen <laughs> well, when it's time. So if it's time, 
there's nothing you can do to delay that transition. So you may as well go with it again, like labor. If you fight that contraction, it seems more painful and more stressful for you and the baby. But if you simply allow the trans, the, what's the word? The contraction to happen and go with it, the pain is diminished. I'm not saying you're not going to feel it because, oh, hell yeah, you feel a contraction. But if you go with it, it is less painful. So don't fight your change. Don't fight your metamorphosis or your transformation. Embrace it because why? Something beautiful awaits on the other end. Chances are it's the thing that you've been waiting for. Everything is going to be incredibly okay in this transformation. So feel free to message me either through my YouTube, my website or Instagram or Twitter, you know, and let me know what that transition is. Are you going through a transformation as well? Because I sure am. Let us share so we can grow together and support one another in this phase. So, go out and enjoy the beautiful day. And allow your transformation to happen. Much love.